Hi, hey, Taurus. It's with a weekly reading. Uh, this reading could resonate with anyone who has Taurus strongly in their chart. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. You're, you're in the Three of Cups energy. That's your main energy that you're in. It's like what you're embodying the first part of this week. But it's connected to this injustice or even a decision that's already been made. Yeah, and now I'm starting to see and understand that there's been some sort of a decision or you're about to make a decision. Mm, I think this decision's already been made. There's been some sort of decision that's been made. Something that happened already A decision that was made and I feel like this decision that was made was maybe not so helpful I just feel like it could have been oh look here's a seven of swords well anyway as you're moving into the into the beginning of the week you're in the three of cups um, the three of cups you're embodying the three of cups so you're understanding the value of the people around you you're feeling the support of others. You're in this place of teamwork and soul sisters and supporting and helping one another. Okay, so you're in that spirit. You're in that, you're embodying that spirit. And there's something here that's just moving forward, moving forward. And I feel like it could be with this Queen of Wands. I feel like this Queen of Wands could be a separate person from you. A friend, a lover, an acquaintance, a coworker, a, yeah, somebody in your family. But the Queen of Wands is this fiery, um, um, uninhibited, saying or doing whatever they're inspired to do kind of person. And this situation is moving forward, and this person is connected to this journey. She's very much a part of this journey. She might be going with you on this journey. But for many reasons, you could be the team player. You could be the one that's playing on this team. And the Queen of Wands could be the one that's pushing this forward. There could be two of you. Two of you in this. Now, moving this card up over the Queen of Wands and over this Justice card that's in the reverse, we connect into Judgment in the reverse. I'm not very good at reversals. I usually go with kind of how I feel when I connect into them. And, and I'm going to have to stick with what I originally said. I feel like this is a change and a second chance at something. That has already been set into motion, but it's interesting that these cards are a part of this week. What happens after judgment? Well, there's a cleansing. It's like a new semester at school. There's a new chance to do it again or to do it better. But why is justice in reverse? Ace of Cups. King of Swords. I think there's understanding here. I think there's understanding as to what happened. And I think that there is a feeling now of, all right, let's move forward now. Let's try this again. Let's do this again. This could be love. This could be rejuvenation. This could be healing. But there's definitely a lot of love here. We have King of Swords. This is Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. It's a masculine energy. 
And there could be a king of swords here that is part of this picture, that was a part of this picture. It's interesting that the king of swords connects into the seven of swords, like he's right there. I just feel like there was a situation in the past that now there's a new understanding about and maybe there is a, 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 a um, the feelings and the hardship and the missed opportunities and the unfairness and injustice of it all is now more understood. And I think the pain of it is kind of falling away. The pain of it might be just falling away. And you're sort of back in the, you know, let's do this. Let's try this. Let's make this work. It's almost like you yourself have been rejuvenated. And Taurus, like as you're moving through the week, this feeling of freshness and aliveness and health and exuberance is here for you. It's connected in with the Seven of Swords. So again, I just feel like this tiredness that has been around you, this great burden that has been around you um, has sort of fallen away. The Ten of Wands... Did I say the Ten of Swords? Seven of Swords, Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands is in reverse. So whatever was holding you back, whatever was kind of keeping you in this, um, in this situation that was just, like there was no solution. It just felt so long. It was so difficult. It was painful. You really couldn't move forward for a period of time. It wasn't benefiting you in any way. It just, it, uh, it's all dropping away. Has it been easy? Heck no. As the, as the week goes through, you're moving into the seven of swords energy, which is all about seeing where the mischief has been, seeing where the deception has been, understanding the deception, and really kind of coming to terms with um, what part you played. And it doesn't cause pain because you have the sun here. The sun brings in this empowerment and this healing and a strengthening to your walk. And there's a freedom here. It's like you've been liberated. You have been liberated from something that had kept you down and out for some time. And honestly, there is a new journey here. There is something new here, Taurus. Something brand new. And look at you all primed and ready. All primed and ready. You've been reset. The great reset. The great reset. And there's a new journey here. I mean, you've honestly, you really have been freed. There's nothing holding you back. There's nothing holding you back except for your own mind trying to do it perfectly, trying to do it just right, trying to do different, di doing it differently than before. But I don't think it's holding you back because you have the son and the fool. I think it's helping you steer. It's helping you steer this in the right direction, in the best way. Let's take out these cards. Let's take out these cards that are gone and look at what's left. Let's look at what's left. <laughs> Pretty nice. Pretty nice. I mean, I'm not even going to, I'm taking them away. I mean, it's, it's in the past. And now I'm going to clarify here. Um, what this fool is. And then in the extended reading, um, we can go deeper into some of these cards, but I'm going to go into the fool here. The fool energy, please. More about the fool energy. Three of Pentacles, something to work on. Something that you're going to work on together with someone 
If it's a solo journey, something that you're going to build on, it's a three of pentacles. So you're moving um, into doing something new, but this something new has already been developed in one way or another. Three of pentacles is something that's in existence. So this could be new work. This could be a new project that you have. This could be a new relationship that you're stepping into. But I do feel for many of you, there are other people here or another person here um, for many of you. And I think it's time and you're ready and you have the strength and it's go time. Nine of nine of pentacles, three of pentacles, nine of pentacles. It's like you're ready. You have, Everything's ready. Everything's there. Everything's set. There's nothing really holding you back. Ten of swords. Seven of swords, ten of swords. It's like the end of an old painful era. The end of an old painful era. And in many ways, I think that you really had to look past what's happened in the past. Look past it. Look beyond it. Because the Ten of Swords requires um, a surrender. A surrender. Well, I think that it's okay for you to surrender at this point. Um, it does come with this hesitation. What if it's, what if, what if I'm cheated? What what if it is a betrayal again? What, you know, what the what if, the what if worry. You have this what if worry. But at the end of the day, I mean, I think that you have to kind of surrender into this new situation because really um, this what if, the what if, um, the what if wondering is powerless against this sun and the chariot is powerless against it. It can help you do it better and most appropriately for yourself, but it it's it's a minor energy compared to the sun and the fool and the chariot. And then you have the nine of pentacles and the three of pentacles. I mean, this is about betterment. This is about um, improvement of finances. This is about new work. This is about being able to step into something because you have um, you have nothing holding you back. You know, if it's a new relationship, you're single and you know it and you can just move forward. If it's employment, you're ready, you have the skills and you're, and it's like you're ready to just jump into it and start reaping the rewards. Okay. I think Taurus, that's the reading for today. I mean, the energies are so strong. It's so clear that I just, I can just feel, I feel like there's, we're, we're good. I feel like we're good here. All right, my friends, I am going to move into the extended. In the extended, I'm going to look into the chariot, the sun, um, and then move this all forward. All right, Taurus, thank you very much for being here. It is a pleasure to read for you. Uh, stay well, be strong, and I'll see you next week with it, with another weekly reading. Thank you, Taurus.